many things that we have called dreams but they are prophetic blueprints for the next two three four five ten years of our lives sometimes warnings sometimes green lights but because we have not been able to discern next year i have a series on prophetic experiences dreams visions angelic encounters i want to teach you this thing so that you will understand you have to be able to understand the place of dreams visions and even prophetic experiences if you're learning say amen, amen. in exodus chapter 3 give us from verse 2 to 5 exodus 3 2 to 5 watch this now the bible says and the angel of the lord appeared to him the him being moses now in a flame of fire out of the midst of a bush and he looked and behold the bush burned with fire and the bush was not consumed verse 3 he says and moses said i will now turn aside and see this great sight why the bush is not burnt verse 4 now it says and when the lord saw that he turned aside to see god called him out of the midst of the bush and said moses moses and he said here am i verse 5 it says draw nigh draw not nigh here put off thy shoes for the place where thou standest is holy ground so he used a vision a prophetic experience remember that was the one encounter that turned a murderer to become a deliverer many have ignored supernatural encounters in first kings chapter 3 from verse 4 this was the encounter of solomon now always inspires me every time i read this the king went to gibeon the bible says and sacrificed there for that was the great high place a thousand burnt offerings did solomon offer upon the altar verse 5 it says in gibeon the lord appeared to solomon how so god can appear to men through dreams and god said ask what i shall give thee verse 6 and solomon said in the dream oh, god is asking him in a dream he's replying in a dream imagine if you were solomon's wife you went to bed honey see you in the morning and while you are sleeping turning east and west and all the things people do when they are sleeping you know people can turn literally 180 degrees while they are sleeping and not even be aware they just get up and know that the pillow is people sleep in all kinds of interesting ways while all that drama is happening a man is encountering the god of the bible in a very destiny defining way the wisdom that he would wake up with would be what would distinguish him as the wisest man that ever lived and yet god chose a dream thou hast shown unto your servant great kindness and all of that and all of that and he asked him for several things let's go to verse 13 for sake of time let's just do 13 to 16 and then we'll end he answered him and said because you have not asked for the life of your enemies i have given you understanding like no other person has got and then he says and i have also given thee 13 now that which thou hast not asked both riches in the dream now how do you give riches in a dream how do you give honor in a dream so that there shall not be any among the kings like unto thee all your days 14 it says and if thou will walk in my way still in the dream and keep my statutes and my commandments as thy father david did walk then i will lengthen your days long life still in the dream last verse please of verse 15 now and solomon awoke so it was a dream and behold again the bible says it was a dream and he came to jerusalem and stood before the ark of the lord and offered up burnt offerings and offered peace offerings and made a feast to all his servants that means he said let's dance and rejoice and the people say wow the king is in a good mood not knowing that a transaction has happened in a dream could it be that throughout this year god has been trying to transact realities with men it is not only when you come to church like this ladies and gentlemen every time you go to sleep see it as an opportunity to step into a realm where destinies are defined because you do not know these demons are also waiting with your package it's like a menu fear intimidation and the moment you lay your head there you are in secondary school 
writing a demonic exam that you never pass or that never finishes and if there is anybody here under the sound of my voice going through those wicked experiences seeing yourself in a former house writing exams that never finish in the name of jesus christ i declare you are delivered right now only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end in my life only a shoe will reign forever We can access the leadings of God when we are open to supernatural encounters. This one disturbed me seriously because it concerned Jesus himself. I hope you know that when Jesus was born, he could die. I hope you know that. Matthew 2 from verse 13. The Bible says, And when they were departed, the Magi now, remember? The Magi came to just pay homage to Jesus little baby jesus now baby jesus could die if he could not die god would not ask that they run away with him so don't just say jesus saved sinners he had to be alive to be able to save sinners he was going to die but if he died as a baby your sins would not be saved that would just be obituary not salvation and when they were departed, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph. How? In a dream again. Saying, arise, take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Look at the exact, look at the, the details. Arise, take the child. And he told him where to go to. He would have said, arise and run away. What if he ran to report to Herod? Herod will say, you are welcome. There's a room here for you. Both you and the child, wait there. It's not enough to say, God told me to move. To where? He, he, he spoke to him. He said, arise and flee into Egypt. Then here now, he says, and be thou there until I come to you again with a word. My God, may God restore the accuracy of his leadings. May God restore the accuracy of his leadings. In the name of Jesus Christ. A man goes to bed. Joseph was a weak, ordinary man. He would have died. Jesus would have died. And the entire plan of redemption would have been aborted. When you see the excellency of their parenting, it was not because they were superior parents. They didn't go through parents counseling. They only knew how to hear. Maybe God is speaking to a family here. Your ability to hear concerning your children will really be the key to their rising. Thank God for all the intellectual systems that help to feed your mind. But nothing will replace the accuracy of the hearing of You can give birth to a child and God comes to you and say, This child is ordained to be a prophet to the nations. Take him to a missionary school in Lagos or in Abuja. You have heard the word. No matter what confusion comes, you will say, I know God said this. Remain there until I bring you word. And he told him why. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Next verse. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by the night and departed how do you get up from a dream and do exactly what you saw the kind of dreams we're having now if you do everything in your dream you would have been dead by now because our dreams are so weak and not purified by the power of god you dream and you see yourself killing your mother if you get up and do the same thing would she die you you see how satan has hijacked our dreams because of insensitivity may there be restoration this night You may say, okay, apostle, I'm not inclined towards the prophetic. I may not have the hearing eye and the seeing ear, but a dream is a blessing that God gave every man. All you need to do is to sleep. Please help them. 
Give us that scripture. Let's finish it, please. Now, verse 15. The Bible says, And he was there as he was directed by the dream until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled that which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, that out of Egypt I have called my son. Supernatural experiences. I shared with you my encounters when in 2013, I think it was, preparing and hoping, just trying to see if it was possible to come down to Abuja and the word of the Lord just came with a very serious encounter. A plane that lifted from Zaria, it was written E and I, on his way to Abuja. Just when it was about to land, it crashed. That one, the dream was straightforward. Are we together? It was the reason why in 2018, when the Lord came to me and began to speak to me about moving to Abuja, it took me three years. I struggled with the voice of God. Verifications upon verifications. Because destinies will be part of that decision. There are decisions you don't make carelessly, except you are selfish. Hallelujah. There are people who just get up and say, I feel like leaving my job. What happens to your five children? How do you feel like leaving your job? I feel like driving my wife. I feel like having three more children. You see, we, we, we don't listen to God. And you find out that the three more children you have are the ones that give you headache. Because God said, stop, you didn't hear. Are we together? It's an uncomfortable message tonight, but open up your heart to listen. Please open up your heart to listen because we are going to pray tonight. And one of the prayer points will be purify my experiences so that there are no confusions. Every access that the devil has to my dreams and my visions because I don't have time. I'm not teaching on this. I'm just teaching it as a byproduct of the leadership of the spirit. Otherwise, I would have told you there is something called lying visions. Many today are sincere victims of this. A combination of your emotions and an advantage that demons have taken and many people are being manipulated today it is maritally financially there are people in all kinds of confusions this is why we need to understand the accuracy and the leadings of God there are lying spirits that spoke to people in dreams your father is about to die that company is yours and the boy just sits down and is waiting every day i know what i had there are people today you see by reason of what i do i am amazed at the things people do and the confidence they have they tell you that god spoke to me and when you vet them you will truly know they had from the spirit except that by judging from the lens of scripture it was something else but as far as their conviction is concerned they had the right to be that convicted because of the clarity of what came to them. But when you judge it from the lens of scripture, it was not God. Please listen carefully. And you can be a prophet and still be in error. Just follow me. I'm a good pilot. We're flying high, but we'll land safe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural encounters. I know somebody that I once prayed and ministered deliverance to, a lady. This lady got up and started running out of the house, going to some river, and you know, and she said voices speak. Do you know how many people have committed suicide today? And they will tell you a voice said, kill yourself, kill your wife. No, you judge the speakings of God against the integrity of scripture. But ladies and gentlemen, if you have not opened up your heart to the realm of dreams and visions, there is a dimension of the leadings of God that you may be robbing yourself of. And we are going to pray tonight. Some of you do not have access to dreams. It's a blessing and a privilege to all the saints in Christ. And some of you, our dreams have been corrupted. All kinds of spirits have manipulated our dreams. We lie down and we get up and have all kinds of leadings. We follow those leadings sincerely, but the end result shows that it was not God.